Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to the creative side of Planet Nomads. Uh, I came out to the desert here to try to do a bit of building today, and I don't know what it is with these dust storms, it's absolutely terrible. By the way, this segue works a lot better if you put 600 kilos on the back end of it. Uh, needless to say, it's, that it could work better, but uh, there's always improvements that could be made to it. Uh, maybe some sort of hover pad control, but it, yeah, it does work. I had a bit of running with some brands and Godillos and they were like all over me and it's like, good thing I wasn't creative, right? But, it is working, surprisingly. Uh, I figured if they were spread out enough and there was just enough weight that maybe j just a little bit of a tip would be enough, but, eh, what can you say? Plus, it's, the ground is somewhat uneven. Now, I do have a bit of a plan for today, and this is an idea I've had for quite some time. Uh, this is back in the... I seem awfully moist for being out here. Uh, this is an idea I had back in the day, that desert days of season one. That was where I made the centipede, I made the giant lab rat. What is that? Oh, there's some bushes. Uh, and uh, a whole bunch of other great stuff. That was actually some, I think, where some of my best ideas came from. Uh, one of the things I wanted to work on back then was sort of like a, I don't know, you'd almost call it like a slinky type robotic dog where it was basically, it was a dog but it had limbs and appendages like sentinels from the Matrix, but not in a bad way. Uh, I think that, that's the end of our stop, right? End of our ride there. Uh, but yeah, at the time it wasn't something that I could really do. I tried doing some experimentations with it and, you know, trying to get it to actually function probably wasn't going to work because at the time we didn't have key bindings, but now we do. So this actually is going to be something feasible and I hope it actually will work. And this is actually a perfect spot for it. Uh, it's hard to find a good flat area these days that isn't infested, but that's okay because my these guys are going to have a new new best friend to play with if things go right anyway uh yeah so i'm gonna hang on a sec but yeah so anyways that's what i was saying i was having issues uh, with this working before trying to get this to work before because i was using air blades to lift the body up but i was trying to contr use it, control it with hover pads like to, to move the feet and basically what it did is it would take the hover pad uh I don't know if you remember Simon the Big Walker, or even the last two big walkers I made, how I had the hover pads on a 45 degree angle, so when they turned on, they pushed forward. Well, this one isn't going to be autonomous, it's going to be controlled. And uh, the beauty thing is, is we actually have a lot of key bindings at, or a lot of keys at our disposal in the cockpit. Uh, I'll place that down and I'll show you here. Uh, as you notice, I have no hotbar. That's because keys 1 through 0 on the main keyboard here aren't actually used for anything. Uh, neither is the numpad. So that gives you 20 keys total that you can actually use. So that's always handy and then there's always the page up, page down, whatever. So, you know, the possibilities of doing things controlled with air blades are amazing just because of the fact that we have so many pos pos oh yeah I can't, can't show you because I don't have a terminal set up to it yet uh, but yeah you can change uh, directionals forward back left right and also hover up and hover down so there are so many things that are disposal now what I've learned in the past is that with the air blades uh, when you're using the directional they are supplying a bit of force so I can use that or I can also bind hover up and uh, hang on, it'll come to me. Hover, hover up and directional forward or directional backward, depending on which way the hover pad is on the actual structure, right? And configure it that way. So, anyways, uh, I am going to want to build this fairly big. Now, in theory, you know, you, you know me, I usually think things out pretty 
pretty well and I have a feeling that this thing should actually be able to go up some of these hills uh, I will have to adjust the body height using said air blades oh shut up go over here then uh, not that make not they bother me they just get in the way from trying to build but yeah anyways uh, enough rambling let's uh, start building now I want to make it uh, okay let's go over here then get away from the dust storm I wish there was a command that they could actually toggle the rainfall. Besides, uh, enter sleep chamber and sleep till gone. Anyway, I guess I'll have to come back. Well, what I'm going to do is, uh, while I'm waiting for this dust storm to settle, is I'm going to go ahead and build a frame. I don't know how high I'm going to build it. Um, the head, I figured, because of the air blades I'm using, it's going to end up being about nine blocks wide. Uh, just you know, spacing purposes, about the same size as White Shade's head, the dragon. And believe it or not, White Shade was my second option. I wanted to build this first. But anyways, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, get a frame set up and I shall return. Okay, I'm back. I'm also in another world too without weather. Uh, because that dust storm didn't stop. Uh, we don't have the lava fields anymore. We do have a whole bunch of Udellas over there we can go play with when we're done. Because they were giving me a bit of a problem on the way over here, so we'll give them a, the way, a bit of a problem on the way back. And there's more than what you see there. Trust me, there is. Anyway, so I decided to go a little bit bigger on the frame. I'm going to try to keep, like I said, I'm going to try to keep this lightweight as possible. We will be having air blades in the top and bottom of here. And that's just to carry the weight because we're going to have to put a big old Jenny in here, I think. Well, I don't think we really need to. Uh, let's try... Oh, I'm going to need some air blades, right? Like, let's see, see how... I guess I can't really see how heavy this is because I don't actually... I've got about 3,000 kilos of... What I, I'm going to call jack stand there. 6,000. So, yeah, this is already getting pretty heavy, so... Uh, that's fine. Anyway, uh, so yeah, this is going to be like that, and then it's going to be a head. Of course, it's going to be a head. Well, it's me we're talking about here, so you never know. And I guess, because I don't actually have the block on the bar, I'll do that. So then here we're going to have... Oh, I really don't want to be using... So I want to be able to get the, the, the head to turn. Eh... You know, if it makes me cringe, it can't be good. But we're going to try it anyways. We are going to be using hinges. Yes. Glorious hinges. It could be worse, so... That's just the neck. Let's take that off. So, that's going to be the neck, and then I'm going to have the same thing down here for the legs. And... I think a good place would be about three blocks in. I guess the legs could be in a little bit more. I guess we'll have to get that one block. Oh no. Uh, hmm. And yes, I know about having multiple hotbars. You don't have to remind me. One, two, three, four, five. Do that. So I'll go five blocks in. One, two, three, four, five. I think that's right. And you know what's funny? I was just thinking about this. There have been a lot of things I had mentioned about in videos and have actually appeared in the game. One of them just happens to be this. Being able to actually uh, you know, adjust your actual build distance. I remember I used to have to jump to put blocks in or build scaffolding. One, two. Of course, that was before air, jet, uh, hover mode anyways. Is that going to be enough? Yes, that should be enough. All right, uh, the legs are going to be fixed. And I mean fixed, I mean they're just going to be this way here. So they're going to be able to swing forwards and backwards. Uh, in theory, you no, know, this is in theory. That's if the game decides not to have its way with me or make me look stupid in front of everybody. In theory. What was I going with this? Uh... Oh, in theory, uh, 
if I I should be able to use the head to control this while it's walking. Uh, it will have to be a two key walking process. You'll have to actually, I'm thinking of uh, key binding the walking to nine and seven on the, the, the number pad and for forwards and yes, we'll even try to go backwards. And I'll put a three to one on there or three and one on there. Uh, sure, let's extend this one. Uh, but like I said, I do have plenty of keys at my disposal. I have things I want to try to do. Uh, I want to make, well, if I remember, I'll put a disclaimer up on the screen. Just, it's not going to happen, so don't look for it. But uh, I don't expect this to work. I expect things to go horribly wrong, but I do have little things I'd like to try to get to work. Uh, one of them just happens to be, um, i got to count these. Um... Having things like ears that you could actually manually prop up or drop down. And uh, if you watched one of the last recent episodes, I I made a rudimentary piston. Well, I'm going to use that idea to have his tongue uh, be able to actually get sort of like a panting animation going with his tongue. Just because I can. And yeah, so let me get the rest of this done and I'll be right back. Okay, so there's the legs. Hopefully the legs. Now for the head. Uh, the head, like I said, is going to be a little bit smaller. We're going to have to get looking more like a, an actual, you know, like an actual dog head if I can. Uh, no, again, no promises. This is me trying. And I said it was going to have to be a nine wide. So one, two, three, four. Right? No, we are on. Yeah. The reason why I do this is because uh, the hover pads or the air blades are three blocks wide. So three blocks here. And it doesn't matter how long I, I make it as long as I can get the air blades in there. And this is another thing that I'm so happy about too is being able to actually lock or have the the rotors and hinges actually be locking because you can never do this before. When I built White Shade, uh, that was before then. And I don't know if anybody... Well, I don't know if you saw that in the video with I because I uh, time-lapsed that before I started doing the whole 1080p bit. But I actually... Um, I'm, uh, hang on, brain's going to work here. I actually had to use the air blades to, to lift the thing up while I was building it. So I put an air blade on, lift up the, the chain, the daisy chain that I had. And started building some more until I hit the ground then I put another daisy uh, another air blade on put some more hinges uh, hinges on and yeah needless to say it wasn't the easiest thing to build but you know like everything with the plant no match you, you have to be creative anyway uh let me come back with uh, a poochy looking face and I'll be, um, we'll start decking decking her out with some uh, mechanics okay there it is it's actually looking pretty good to be honest uh, anyway, uh, as you can see, the, the head's getting a little heavy, so we're going to have to get some air support in here. So i got to figure out where I'm going to put the air blades. Now, I did put enough room in here to actually have four air blades in here. So let's go ahead and number six. That's not a six. That's a six. Do two like that. Two like this. I'll have two on the four on the bottom as well. Because it's almost like I planned ahead for this. No, I didn't. Uh, I'm hoping to, like I said, I want to try to get some sort of mechanical tongue sort of going in here. I don't know how well it's going to work now. Uh, because I wanted to have it three blocks wide. Originally, I was thinking of having like wheels as sort of guides to make sure that it stays in, stays in place. But the mouth might be a little bit wide. A little bit too wide, but I can always sort of tuck them in here a little bit, maybe hide them up. We'll see how it goes, but anyways, so there's that, and the body's going to need some air blades. A lot of them by the looks of it. And I think... I was stupid for placing a single block there. Actually, no, I'm not. I could do it on this side here. Uh, I am going to use blocks just for this one part, so this dog is going to have a spine. <laughs> one, two, three... Uh, let me find a center, get a line down, some air blades, and I'll be right back. Okay, I think that'll actually be good enough for the, the top section here, because I don't think it's really too heavy 
Uh, like I said, we might have post it's still about 5,000, which is actually pretty good for everybody because I think they can lift like 800. So uh, that'll be actually good. I might actually set a couple of these front ones up for steering along with the head just to sort of help it move. The feet aren't going to be moving at all. The feet are just going to be straight up forward and back. It's going to be the head that's going to be con controlling it. And of course, and of course, we're going to have to get a tail. And uh, I think the tail is going to be articulated. And by articulated, I mean uh, both ways. So let me see here. Let's let's do it this way. So let me think here. I'll start with down and like that, and then I'm going to continue on. I'll be right back. Okay, there's the tail. Let's not talk about what it looks like because it's red like the rest of the dog. Uh, in case you're wondering why it's red, uh, I don't know if you're aware of Clifford, the big red dog. That's a bit of a kid's story, and it's about the family. If you don't know about it, it's about the family that adopts a, a small red dog, but a little puppy, but the, the dog never stopped growing. It just got bigger and bigger before you know the dog was bigger than the house. Yeah. Good times. Go play frisbee with the dog and it destroys the neighbor's house. Always great. Anyway, uh, I seem to be lagging. I don't know why. Maybe Windows is doing something, probably. Uh, let me check on that quickly. No, appears to be me. Probably something I'm doing. Gee, who would have thought, huh? Anyway, <laughs> anyway. Uh, let's actually start with the tail. Uh, I'll have to configure everything separately, actually. I probably should hold off putting all the air blades on. So I do have to configure everything, right? Uh, those ones I'll probably just leave on space control for the hover off, hover down. Uh, I'll figure out the steering in a minute. But, uh, yeah, because I don't think I can actually access the rename menu from here. Can I? No, I can't. Hmm. All right, well, I'll have to configure this manually. I could just do the old switch it off technique. Uh, but anyway, I just want to show you what I got going on here. Uh, so for the tail, tail is going to be a single air blade. If I can find it here, there it is. I'm going to leave stabilization on on this one. Actually... Maybe, yeah, I might leave it stabilization on, but have that on its own controls, uh, separate from the body, so we can we can lift it up, we can wag it left and right, and tuck it down between between our legs, sort of deal, right? Try to make it look like a real dog. All right, now for the feet. Now I'm thinking, realistically, only two air blades would be enough. But hey, as my motto is, waste not, why not, right? Uh, so we'll get uh, seven down here, and I think we'll just go straight up air blades on this, like that. I don't know if I really want to have a uh, sort of pause around it. Cause if I do the pause, maybe I'll do this, and... I do want to check, see if this is being picked up in the recording, what I'm seeing anyways. I've got a bit of a, a lag issue going, so let me be right back. It seems to be a little bit better. You could have to do with the hinges, though. I don't know if you see it, but they're actually slightly moving, so the game engine is technically trying to accommodate for it. But what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and let's actually go up one, just because. Uh, where are you here? Helps if I put the blocks on the same spot. So I'm going to go up. And I'm going to do all this off camera, but I'm just going to do the first one now. Uh, hmm. Yeah, now I'm wondering what I want to do. Because I do want to have like a, a sort of like a curved paw, like so. And it's going to have to be three blocks that way and three blocks in the back. Because I want to have two bla two air blades just because, right? More means better, usually. And 
but you're starting to get the idea. And I think that's what's causing the lag is the fact that the the air blades are starting to swing, or the hinges are starting to swing. And then like that, and then maybe just to keep things lightweight, do that. And then one, two, oop. like so, like that. I mean, and then we'll place you here and we'll put one of these down here just as like a, a doohickey you know what I mean right and air blade there and that's our our movement so I'll be mirrored on both sides and on all four legs okay there's the feet and yeah it's the swing of the hinges that's definitely causing the lag I figure there's about a hundred of them that are moving ever so slightly and the game's got to calculate to the 15th decimal place. Yeah, that's why sometimes when you see me building things or doing stuff like this, you'll you hear my CPU fan just kick into high gear. It's like, it's got so much to process. Alright, and then, uh, yeah, for the ears, what I was thinking about doing was... might even go hinges on this. I know the hinges are powered, they don't support a ton of weight, but they could work. Uh, let's try this. Let's see here. Let's put it there, and then we'll mirror that on the other side. Like so. And then we'll place the hinge here. Where is it? There it is. Another one over here. And then uh, I think, not sure, but yeah, I yeah, should rename these ones. Just the air blades because they got so many controls on them. All right, and then from that is basically going to be ears on top. I haven't figured out how I'm going to do them yet. Probably something like that, and then like that. And since I was thinking about incorporating glass into this, maybe you'll have glass ears too. Just because it's light. Uh, it doesn't do a solid look to it, but at least it has some sort of color to it. That's all that really matters. Uh, his ears are probably going to drop into his face, but that's okay. He's a metal doggy. He can handle it. Oh, look at him droop. Eesh. Look at that frame rate, dude. Just wait till we actually try to get this guy walking. Oh my god. Uh, be, pre be prepared for lag. Uh, if you're new for the channel, low frame rates are are a thing, a normal thing around here. Believe it or not, I do actually record at 60 frames a second. Just may not look at it all the way. And then there's the other ear. So I'm going to go ahead and get the other side done. And then I think that's about all, all it's looked really left to do is first I'll check the weight of this I'll probably do a quick save before I start filling this in with glass just check the weight uh, the only other thing we have left to do is put in a generator uh, the generator is going to have to be basically be right around the center but again we can't count that so one two three four five six seven eight that's going to basically go right about here so uh, let me do that, bring back the day, and we'll finish this guy up. Ha ha ha, it's alive. <gasps> uh, started powering up the uh, head air blades here and started moving. That's awesome. Okay, so everything's all powered up now. Uh, added a generator down below. I got a cockpit here, terminal in the back. All that's really left to do is set the key bindings. Oh look, he's happy. Hee <laughs> hee. Alright, so, oh, I gotta hook those ones up too, so I gotta get those ones hooked up as well, and then, uh, get another airway on the front there, and get them all set up, and then we'll take them for a stroll, shall we? Uh, again, the weight, I wanted to see what the weight was, after I put this in here, 1,200, 12,000. Again, uh, that's counting those here, and those are about 600 a piece, so that's 3, 4, 5, that's about 3,000 there, so 9,000. And have 16 air blades. We might be able to get some glass panels in. Uh, let me check it out and be right back.
Okay, I am finally done. I got it all uh, configured. I need to say it took a very long time, uh, especially the air blades on the back. I had to go through and I had to. Uh, I can't show you here, but let's go into key binding, key bindings here, and uh, one of these. So I'll take, just pick a random one here. So that uh, is the feet. Just happened to grab a foot for some reason. Okay, so. Uh, Yeah, so these are the air blades on the back. Uh, they're mirrored for whatever side they are, they're on, but basically, uh, whenever I... You know what? Let me show you the feet first. I'll show you how the feet are actually working. This is again the third person here. So more or less, 7 and 9 control the forward of the direction, forward movement of the feet, and 1 and 3 move, move uh, operate the reverse direction. So 7... As you can see, it moves those two feet. Nine moves those two feet. And then one, if you really want, one brings those back, and three brings those back. Now, if you look at the air blades on the top, of the, on the on the back over there, when I push seven, they go forward. When I push nine, they go forward. So essentially, we're moving the feet and moving the body at the same time. Uh, I forgot to actually set the head up for that, but hopefully the head will manage its own uh, and of course steering is set up I got the first two four on the body you can move the head like so uh, the tail I had some issues with the tail and there might be an issue with the head tube uh, in order to actually have control like set separate key buttons on the, the hover up and hover down the stabilization has to be turned off and I've done that, the air blade on the tail there is an air blade 9. So I can use 8 and 2 to raise and lower the tail. And I can do left uh, 4 and 6 to lag it. Okay, so yeah, we're starting to get quite complicated here. Let's get to the ears. The ears were uh, page up, page down. Nope. Oh, there we go. Home and end. Yes. Home and end to bring the ears up and down. Like so. And then we have a five to start the tongue. It's really bad. It needs more. Oh, hang on. I'm wondering if something's stuck. But five to start the tongue, zero to stop it. But now I'm thinking, I'm wondering if I still have one of these locked. Okay, that's unlocked. That's unlocked. And you gotta love it when you see that. Yeah, that's physics. Uh, there really should be two sets of wheels in there to guide that in place. But other than that, I think that is good. Uh, the hover is disabled on these ones, I do believe. I can't actually find out in here. Uh, let's try to hover up with space and see if the feet move. I don't think they will. Yeah, they won't. All right, well, save has been made. So let us see if we can break the game or walk a dog trying uh, yes I have saved it okay and off he goes definitely a little heavier than I thought he would be or lighter than I thought he would be oh never good yeah too many air blades a little heavier than I expected it to be but let's see if we can let's see if we can walk the dog, shall we? Okay, I'll bring him back down to earth. Oh yeah, I can zoom out a little bit more. Definitely front heavy. Oh, come on. Uh oh, no. Yeah. Yeah, it's cause uh the hair blades in the front there. I might have to Try to sneak some more in, I think. It's getting a little too heavy. Uh, let's see if I can back her up. Uh, let me see here. Uh, oh, oh. Uh, keys, man. Think keys. There we go. There we go. Hmm. And he thinks I need more air blades in the face. Somewhere. Hmm. I'll figure it out. 
Okay, that looks, that looks a little better. I had to sacrifice the tongue. Uh, there's something weird going on too. I uh, disconnected it from the rotor. Took that block out. For some reason, the tongue was just sort of like floating in midair. Anyways, let's uh, go see if this doggy can take go for a walk. Actually, let's uh, actually let's hover down first before I take it out. Okay. So now. And now, is this boy gonna want to walk? And I'm gonna leave all the the rotor or the hinges in the locked state that they are in. Yeah, because there's enough play for it to actually move. So that is good. Now I just gotta quickly clean all this up, and we should be ready to see if it'll actually work as intended. Oh, the fact that that hasn't actually crashed again yet is a good sign. If you have good frame rate, you, well, decent frame rate anyways. Haha, <laughs> there's my thumbnail right there. Rover 1.0. Uh, I was thinking about calling it Clifford, but uh, I don't know. Uh, maybe we'll have a little contest so you can see if someone wants to come up with a name for it. I thought I had something on mine. I honestly can't remember what it was. But oh, let us see what happens. Alright, so he is floating levelly now. So in theory you want him just down a little bit. Oh that's a little too much. Hmm. Well, let's try to walk. <laughs> okay, this is not working. Oh well, we have a flying dog now. Eh, yeah, kind of funny. Didn't quite work out the way I was anticipating it to. But then when does anything ever, ever do? We have a flying dog. That's all that matters. With a tail that wags. Well, let's get those ears up. And off we go. Off the wild blue yonder. Hooray! It actually kind of looks kind of freaky. Almost like it would belong in uh, Five Nights and Freddy's or something. But anyways, this is, like I said, this is something I wanted to try. And it was a better success than what I originally had planned. Uh, sadly, it wasn't supposed to be able to be this light, but it was. Oh, that's the wrong button. Let's see. Look, two feet go forward, and the other two feet go forward, and the other two feet go forward. Look, he's running on air. And then we can always kick her into reverse. You ever seen, ever seen a giant robotic dog walk backwards on air? Now you have only in my world. But anyways, I think this is a good place to call it. Uh, definitely going to throw this up in the workshop, see if anybody can think of anything fun to do with it. But uh, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed If you did, leave me a like. And as always... I'll see you in the next one. Later.